going dudes? Welcome to another video upload from Aspie with Attitude. If you're watching this for the first time, my name is David, I'm from Melbourne, Australia. I have autism, I have some speech difficulty, a speech impairment, and a speech impairment, and I have speaking syndromes, and that's why I call myself an Aspie. So, this is actually Autism Acceptance Month for April 2023. Oh yes, dude, it's like, I've just been wanting to make this video for a very, very, very long time. So what I have here before I get started is, I'm just going to briefly show you this book, which is called The Autistic Brain, which has been written by Temple Grandin, and pretty much at back, yeah, that's who I'll be talking about. Something I wanted to do quite a while ago, which was talk about Temple Grandin, I just really had to get one of her books first before I even make this episode possible. But I'm just gonna sit back down and I'm about to get into it. And if you like what I'm doing here, please, why not subscribe to Ask Beef Attitude? That's all I ever ask for in terms of support. And also you can ring this notification bell if you wanna keep up to date with Ask Beef Attitude. And also don't forget to please like and share this video content around. That way you're showing more support. And now it's gonna expect to be kind of a bit of a long script, so I'm gonna get on with it right now to explain who Temple Grandin is. She is an American academic specializing as an animal behavioralist through the livestock industry. Yeah, sorry, I actually sort of ran out of breath trying to pronounce this word. This is me with my speech impairment and a speech impairment. To get on with it, also, Temple Grandin is an autism spoke person who had published books about autism and I just only showed you one of the books which is the only one that I own at the moment which is for Autistic Brain something I've pretty much skimmed through before Other words, she is an autism rights activist one of the first autistic individuals to document her insights and her life experience growing up on the autism spectrum Temple Grandin was born on the 29th of August 1947, growing up throughout the 1950s and the 1960s when not much was known about autism. Temple Grandin had explained that she was often bullied at school, especially when she was going through the mainstream education system that's ran by neurotypical driven society throughout the mid 20th century which would have been a very dark time for autistic individuals to try and fit into new typical driven society. However it is, Temple Grandin wasn't diagnosed with autism until her adulthood, despite growing up with ableism due to the fact that little was known about autism at that time. And before the age of social media and autistic YouTube content creators like myself, and Dan from the Aspie world, and if you follow the Thomas Henley podcast, and also I guess Autism from the Inside, and many others, Temple Grandin did publish books about autism, such as Thinking in Pictures, which was written back in the year 1995, right into the mid 90s. As an autistic spokesperson, Temple Grandin appears that she had identified most autistic individuals have different thought processes. After learning about Temple Grandin's point of view regarding visual thinking, it's become a type of thought process that I personally agree upon. Something that I feel like that I do have too. Despite throughout my days in high school and primary school, I had been pressured to gain high marks in maths, science and English. Instead, I only gained high marks in visual arts. And this is how I understand Temple Grandin's theory of picking in pictures, especially if you had seen the PM5644 test screen that I always use while editing most of my videos. And this is how I embrace my visual thinking throughout my entire autistic YouTube creator channel, Aspie with Attitude. This is where my visual thinking is actually based upon. 
Something else that me and Temple Graham have in common are sensory challenges. And we both have that sensory challenge when it comes to us always wanting to wear the same type of clothes. Doesn't matter what color, shape and size, it's always the same style. And you always see me dress like this in every other videos, especially if you look at Temple Grandin. In most of my autistic YouTube uploads, I tend to say sensory challenges instead of saying sensory disorder as a better way to challenge those sensory issues. To challenge what I describe as tactile stimuli involving clothing issues to identify what is comfortable for an autistic individual to wear. I'm going to be wishing to focus more on Temple Grandin since I had seen enough about what I wear in every video that I upload. So I'll just sit down now. It appears that she overcomes her sensory challenges wearing items of clothing that have a contemporary Wild Western style, which is popular in a cattle ranching scene, especially in the rodeo, and if you've seen most of the Texas rodeos and all that. That's what it appears that Temple Grandin will always feel more comfortable wearing. And more than Temple Grandin being an autistic spokesperson, she is involved heavily in the livestock industry. Temple Grandin must have used her autism at her advantage to figure out solutions to maybe properly ranch cattle. I am no expert in cattle ranching. It's likely that Temple Grandin had been responsible for doing her part to improve the cattle industry. In this video content, I had been mainly interested in explaining how I agree with Temple Grandin's understanding about autism. Before I was diagnosed with Asperger's Syndrome at the age of 16, back in August 1996, I was bullied and was taken advantage of through the lack of social cues and I was unable to read other people's body language, understand other people's tone of voice and read facial expressions from other people. I still made it through high school without experiencing having those kind of social life when you actually really hang out with your friends on your weekends and your peers outside of school and having your sleepovers and doing any activities outside of school hours. These days, I have more to life just being a regular autistic YouTube content creator, embracing my visual thinking through making music since I once used to be a rapper growing up in my 20s into my early 30s and working on the classic TV test screens to express my visual thinking in every videos that I upload. I am also working a full-time job as a cabinet maker and I am an adult fan of Lego. Since most of my other free time, I do work on a lot of Lego and also you can see that I actually enjoy plants and I appreciate nature. Since most of you would have seen some of my walk with me videos when I do go out there and appreciate nature. And how cool would this be that Temple Grandin will know that I am autistic individual who happens to be living by myself, maintaining full-time employment and having the time to create all these autistic YouTube contents. And even when I was young, I had been through a handful of pressure in the past just to get to where I am now. Since that at time when I was making this video content, I was 43 years old. And that's what you're watching right here. And this is what has been believing that me and Temple Grandin each have in common. Just how we always worked hard, we tried to live normal lives, and just got on with things like as it happens in your typical driven society. And I only have one of her books, which is called The Autistic Brain. Yeah, something I'll show you once again. That's the only book I have from Temple Grandin. And I have skimmed through it, and enough to give me a bit of understanding what is visual thinking, and how my thought process really works. And goes to show that after all, 
autism is not a curse, despite its autism speaks who are responsible for the misinformation about understanding autism. So like, I feel it's the best idea to always understand autism, maybe through Temple Grandin and learning through other autistic YouTube content creators like the Aspie World and Autism From The Inside. And in this video, this is all about how I actually appreciate Temple Grandin's point of view about autism, something that I totally strongly agree to. And it's never been my intention to make a very long video. Well, since I'm just pretty much done and out of time, the one thing I love to do at the end of each video is just show off a little bit and just to do the fidget spin nose trick, just to sign off. It's thanks for watching, thanks for listening to Aspie of Attitude, and I hope you enjoyed my talk about Temple Grandin for the Autism Acceptance Month, which is April 2023. Thanks for respect, I want to make this video a while ago, and see you next time from Aspie with Attitude.